welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love to have you as part of the DBS team. Click that little red subscribe button below as well as that little bell beside that so that you're notified each and every time that I upload a new video. I'm uploading extra videos for the month of December, so be sure to check those out. I will leave a little link in the info, just click that little eye and get more information about all of my other wig reviews. And yeah, today I'm doing a wig review unboxing of this unit that I have on here. This is the Sensational Bump Wig Collection. This style is the, it is the Chic Bob. It is in the color F430. I got this from samsbeauty.com. It is a 100% human hair wig, but it's very affordable, so I'm doing it on my channel. It was $34.99 for this human hair wig. And if you would like to see the unboxing of this unit, as well as the styling of it, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, we are about to do the little unboxing of this unit. It is packaged as normal. Let's see what it says on the stock card. It gives you the features of the unit. List the different colors that the unit comes in. It doesn't have any care instructions um, on the little stock card, but I think it does have care instructions here on the flip side of the packaging that it came in, maintenance information that is the care instructions let's pull this on out the package and see what we get a lot of fillers as usual it's very soft it's not a thick wig and it's sewn into that little circle at the top which I don't care for too much but we'll see what it looks like once we get it on and I think this is it's just bobbling so it's probably our 10 or 12 inch but the color looks nice and it feels like it's not a high quality wig of course it's 34 hours but it's human so you can do what you want to it um, as you can see in the back it has one comb this looks like the one inch comb with the two adjustable straps it has the stretchy cap in the top. We do not have any combs at all in the top nor on the sides, but it does have the ear tab on each side and no parting space, so everything is sewn onto the top part of the wig cap. So I'm going to adjust the straps, take off the stock card, and then we'll try it on. So if you'd like to see that, then stick around for the trial. Okay guys, I put the straps uh, as close as I could get them together. I actually sewed the comb over top of where you put in the straps. So I didn't get to put them side by side as normal, but make, hopefully it is tight enough. I would say that this is probably big head friendly because it's not really tight on me. Now it's just straight. Push the bangs down. So it's just an everyday bob. The bangs are too short but it looks like I don't know this piece over here is a little bit longer I mean shorter where the bangs are longer I don't know if they just missed a piece of the bang because this side isn't cut like that but I don't know if that's supposed to be a little flip but I would actually probably cut both sides identical but it does have some layers to it not sure how well they're cut. They don't look like they're cut well, but it does have layers to it. It's soft, it's not too thick. I don't like them to be too full. So they look wiggy, but it does look almost natural, except for, you know, where it's curled. It was sewn in at the top. But I do like the color. I do like the softness of it. I like the good spurts of uh, the light color. 
the 30 in the front. And I will curl this and see what I can do with it. But let me let you see it before I do anything to it. This side with a little longer piece to it, this is the right side of it. This side is the left. The layers look a little bit better on this side with better cut. So let's look at the back and see if layers are there too. And it's a good shoulder man. So I would say this is probably maybe a 12. It may be a 10, but I think it may be a 12. The color looks decent in the back. They say this is pre-bumped, but I don't know how it's bumped or what it's bumped with, because to me it's just straight. But I am going to get a flat iron and put some heat to it and see how it does and curl it and see where we get so if you like to see how I style it then stick around and stay tuned Okay guys, I have styled it a little, I bumped it, I cut a little bit of layers right here around the face. I left this side as is. I kind of like it, I don't 100% like it. I think the bangs are a little bit too short for my liking, but my forehead is kind of long, so maybe that is it. I could pull the wig up a little bit, but then it'll take that off center. But outside of that, the hair actually curled really good with the heat. I have my flat iron on, I think 410, and I didn't have any issues with the curling. Like I said, I do love the color. I really just wanted to curl it to see how it would look curled. So let's take a look at it because it didn't have any bump to it, as it said. So again, this is the right with the little swoop. This is the left side of it, and this is the back. And it doesn't look bad at all. It pretty much looks a lot like human hair, I would say. I mean, it looks natural, like natural hair, um, except for, you know, this little part right here. And because of the way the bangs are, it was hard for me to figure out how to style this. But if I I think I might can cut it and make it a little bit better, but I don't know. I may just leave it alone as it is, but it wasn't bad for 30, what was it? $35, $34.99. You can't beat that for human hair and it does not look wiggy. Like I said, the bangs to me is just, are just a little bit too short for my liking. I like them a little bit longer because I prefer to swoop mine to the side a little bit. And when you swoop these, it looks really, really short because I guess my forehead is too long. If I pull the wig up though, it looks to me looks crazy, but that's more of the length that I prefer. But it feel like the wig is way up here, which it is all the way down on my forehead. But outside of that, I do like the unit. I would recommend it if you don't have an issue with with shorter bangs. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to thumbs up my video, um, like, comment, share. If you have any questions, please check the description box below. I'll leave all the information about the unit and where I purchased it, as well as a link to the website. Again, it's soundsbeauty.com, $34.99. As you guys know, in December, I'm loading extra videos, so be sure to check those out. Click that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell beside that, so that you don't miss any videos throughout this month. So yes, thank you guys for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>